Hey guys, and welcome back to A Case of Distrust. We're in the Southern Coffee, so that, yeah, Southern Coffee, and we're investigating around and seeing some stuff. This is our favorite place to drink some paint, I think is what they said. It was, so. to drink paint. Yeah. And you know what? I only like drinking paint in a few places, so. And only if they feel like home, you know? Exactly. The bar stools were crooked and worn. My usual one was in the center of the room. I could sit on it for hours if Frankie had a yarn to spin. Of course, the sauce helped keep me in place, too. I want to call liquor sauce from now on. Give me that sauce. Hey, sauce that me. That eggnog with sauce. I want you to <laughs> sauce all over me. No. That, what do you even mean by that? I mean, pour me some wine, okay. Gina. A nice classy red. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed the wine bottle on the bar and examined its label. It featured a picture of grapes in the words, sacramental use only. Frankie looked at me with a spark in his eye. Go ahead, I can finally use a low voice. Go ahead, <laughs> he said. Give it a swig. Drink. Let's hope I'm not poisoned. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. I grabbed the half-empty glass that had been next to the bottle and swirled some of its contents between my gums. A bit spicy, oh. A bit spicy, ain't it? Frankie said. It's good, I nodded. It's good. Yeah. We can handle our liquor, we're cool. Yeah. We're cool. It's good, I nodded and gulped the rest down. It'll cost you too, he said with a smile and grabbed the bottle from me, turning it through his hands. Uh, oh, rabbits charge more rab than- rab Rabbits? Rabbis. Rab rabbis. Rabbis. That makes way more sense than rabbits. Eh. Rabbis charge more than a nickel for this beauty. Only this type of Napa wine is made for, uh, from that Zinfandel grape. It has a unique aroma. I've been trying to learn more about wine. Seemed everybody knew their stuff but me. I noted that Frankie had said about the origin of the grape as he sat the bottle back in the, on the bar. Since when do you know grapes? Yeah, you wanna? Yeah. Since, since when do you know grapes, I chided. Frankie let out a bellied laugh. <laughs> uh, some of those grapes are older than me, Malone, and I've known about them since I was a small tot. It's, uh, it's why I'm so good at my job, you know? Frankie sighed. Too bad more folks can't taste them. That woman's league is the devil. The woman's Christian temperance, yeah. Yeah. The woman's Christian temperance union was now under feminist Frances Willard, a positive force for the, uh, a positive force for the suffrage of women. But her staunch support of prohibition, along with the union's massive political clout, irked the uh, the very wet San Francisco public, and she particularly wasn't popular with bartenders. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Take a seat, he said. I'll make something else. He was a big fella. He'd been decent pitcher. He's a fantastic orator. What's an orator? Oh, speaker. Well, your clicky thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, you just I'm, have to be more careful. Just, I'm not. Careful's never been a word to, <laughs> to compare with me. Uh, he was a fantastic orator, but knew when he was uh, when to be a good ear, too. For my money, there hasn't be ever been nor will there be a more loyal barman. I sat at the bar. You got the spooks, PC? He asked. You're worn as a catcher's mitt. I suppose my exhaustion showed. I won a hundred bucks for nothing and I can't let it go. I told Frankie about the case, the threatening letter sent to Connor Green, how he assumed it was related to the bootlegging and his suspicion of Redstone Stable. The story took longer than I'd wanted, Frankie showing genuine interest by asking many questions. When I finished, he threw the whiskey sour he'd been stirring. I took a large gulp and gave a sigh as thanks. Very noir of you. Uh, uh, well, Green's case is better than most of what you've been given, he said with some enthusiasm. At least it's not more of that adultery bunk. Eh, sure, I replied, but I started with a goal in mind. What's the point in helping a man like Green? Frankie clicked his tongue on his teeth. Lawyer or priest, why does it matter? Let me ask you, are the clients you have now the types you want to help? I admit they weren't. Yeah? Yeah. He's her friend. We yeah. should be up front with him. I admitted they weren't. I told him that I'd wanted more from my detective life. It could be that Green's case shoots your career forward, Malone. I sighed and stared at my drink. But my days was interrupted by the basement door opening then slamming shut. <gasps> Hello? I love the aesthetic of this game. This game is delightful. I'm I, really, really it's enjoying It's really how it cool. Works. A small blistering woman began marching. Blustering woman began marching towards me. She looked younger than she was wearing a younger than. Yeah. Because I can see the yep. hat. 
She looked younger than 25, but was a few inches shorter than my 5'6". I thought her gray trench coat was too large for that small frame, which was then when I realized it was exactly like the one that had belonged to... Lewis. She hurled insults at me a while. All I could do was sit and take it until she ran out of gas and started breathing heavily. I set my drink on the bar and looked her in the eyes. I inserted a hello. I studied her features. I turned away. I inserted a hello. Sure. Let's be friendly. I inserted a hello. I'm Phyllis Malone. How can I help you? Accompanied by a smile as genuine as I could muster. That knocked her off balance. She stumbled over her next few words and I added, And you are. The flame returned to her eyes. Between clenched teeth, she hissed. I'm the wife of that bum that sneaks into your bed. Whoa. I asked the, the cat? cat. That's the one I'm yep. choosing. I asked the cat, but humor wasn't her angle. <laughs> she la- <laughs> I just love how Malone talks to herself. I know. <laughs> But humor wasn't her angle, and she launched into another poetic stanza. And he just left your sty this morning, she finally ended. And that was when I gathered she was Connor Green's wife. Mrs. Green, I'm a P.I., not a homewrecker. And I don't think your husband and his line of business would want to bed a dick anyhow. Her look was pure incredulity. A woman in that line of work, she questioned. I don't believe it. Prove it. Evidence. Ooh, what do we got? Do we have a badge? Phoenix Wright has taught me always present your badge. Uh, paper stack, dislant, maybe paper stack. Nah. Statue. No Newspaper. Book. No book. Green's no book. letter. Green's letter. Green's letter. Day before he came to me, Green had received a typewriter letter that read, Injure Gamer will end you. Although, wait, let's look at that, statements real yeah, quick. Yeah, because that might be yeah, outing that's exactly. Green. Green got a threatening letter. Has a bootlegging scheme. Suspects Redstone Stable. Mrs. Green. Mm, Green's le- letter may be the only thing we've got, and it does prove that Green came to us for a purpose. I mean, it proves what we need, but it might fuck up Green. Yeah. What was? What, let me see notebook real quick. My own notebook now filled to the brim. I wrote everything down, even the minor details. Never know what can be useful. That could work. And yeah, newspaper would go to everyone. That's linen statue. Statue. What was the statue of? It was a bird. Statue. I kept a small statue underneath the table. A police evidence in a crime, and its owner hadn't one. No. No. Um. It might have to be the, the paper letter? stack. Is that maybe files or something? I had taken copies of old murder cases from the. Oh, hey! When I left. Okay. Paper I guess stack. We could show old... that to her. Yeah. Maybe I just want to protect Green if he's going to yeah. be our client. Yeah. No, that's fair. Let's see if this works. Miss Green, at home, I have a giant stack of... Oh, that is at home. Yeah, that's why I was concerned. Miss Green, at home, I have a giant stack of cases, each one from separate crime covering many of the cities across the country. I went into great detail on a few more of the logs, especially some of the more famous capers. I study them because that's my job. It still took more coaxing for her to believe me, but eventually, hey, there we go, she came around. She seemed grateful I'd explained it to her. Apparently, she had seen her husband leave my apartment, and distraught, she had followed me all the way to Frankie's basement and decided to confront me. I feel like that was... Yeah. We avoided something by outing Green. I suppose... Uh, that's her. Yeah, I suppose I lost my head uh, after what I thought I'd seen. She said, and she began to cry. Frankie, ever chivalrous to a dimpled girl, came around the bar and held her uh, her up. Now that's all right, Miss Green. Why don't I hail you a cab and send you back home? She agreed, and they walked together up the stairs. We handled that well. Good I job, Jim. So. Yeah. Nice. When Frankie returned, I said to him, "You turned night real quick." He snorted a laugh. Oh hell! I can't have that siren in here with a torture yelling like that. Every street bugger would have come to her rescue. Uh, Miss Green is a torch singer? Well, I learned she was Mrs. Connor, uh, yeah, Mrs. Connor Green just now when she came in here. I'd only seen her, um, as little Fanny singing lead for the jazz band at the Tin Spoon. The Tin Spoon, I said. Tiny Paul's joint? That's where Green is selling his liquor. Say, you think that's where she met her husband? I laughed. (laughs) You're the real sleuth, Frankie. He made, he made a sarcastic, sarcastic bow. bow. Sorry, I was... Bit... Yep, you're good. Uh, I shook my head. You're telling me you escorted our little torture out just to avoid a bit of hot water? 
Frankie flushed and said, What are you talking about, Malone? I was never good with emotions, but I was planning that Frankie had instantly fallen for the girl. It was plain. Plain? That <laughs> I didn't get lots of words. <laughs> no, dude, I get it. So what if I had more to squeeze out of her, I asked. What more could you possibly want from old Fanny? She can't have anything to do with green, this green mess. Let's try to contradict. Uh, ten spoon is in the letter. Uh, injury game. No, nope, maybe it? it's in the statements. Statements, maybe. Statements. Suspects redstone. Bootlegging scheme. Yeah. Here we go. Use this? Yes. Nice. Boom. How does that prove she- Oh, sorry. Uh, how does that prove she knows anything? He was right. It didn't. <laughs> I don't see how Miss Green's related to any of this. Oh, it was, I was just doing the ten spoon. That's fair. I don't know if Maybe we have we anything. Um, I don't think we have enough evidence. Yeah, probably not. It's only small black. Yeah. And then statements again real quick. Something she said, maybe? Had the tiny spoon where she was known yeah. as Fanny. She had followed her husband because she su suspected infidelity. Um, Rival at Southern Coffee. Miss Green's great coat, maybe? No. That um, looked all too familiar? That's the one that looked like it was Lewis's coat. Got a threatening letter? I just want to see what that actually says. Before he came to me. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't, um, think we, I don't think we have anything. Can I be like, my goal is to show you evidence? Yes. <laughs> okay, I don't think we have anything. I got. I think we gotta... Maybe we'll come back. Okay. I don't know how the game works, but don't. I consider Frankie's point. Maybe she was unrelated to this case. I shrug and stu shrugged and stood up from the bar stool. Let's take a look at some other stuff. What's this? Once I'd asked Frankie to lend me some cash from that register. He growled so fierce that I decided not to ask again. I didn't think his employers would notice before I got it back, but maybe he just wanted to save me from myself. That's fair. Um, that's the bottle of Zen on the table, but we could click cool. on it. And there's also bottles in the back. That I can click on? Uh, this one. Ooh, and this one over here, too. Yeah. Let's see this. Frankie had a bond with that old shaker at the end of the bar. I was surprised he hadn't named it. He could sling a mean drink, though he'd only use the good liquor if he liked you. Frankie liked me. Aw. Yeah, that bottle. Oh, this one. Frankie kept a collection of pre-prohibition bottles on a shelf behind the counter. Their shapes and colors... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah? Ooh, what? I just clicked on it twice on accident. Um, okay. It's a very sensitive click. Yeah. Oh, man. It's all right. Well, um, uh, this bottle showed a California bear with the words Bohemian type and block letters underneath. I doubted that bear had ever heard of Bohemia, but he did look carefree. Uh-huh. It's this one. This label had a poem on it. Fill full your cups, feel no distress. Add all our great thoughts shrinking less. We'll do a good, uh, a good deed nevertheless. Okay. Very cute. Ooh, uh, here's let's, one. Yeah. This label showed a rearing horse in front of a forest. I had no idea how the horse related to California's most genuine bourbon whiskey, <laughs> though I suppose I did stare at the picture long enough to whet my appetite for the bottle's contents. I didn't know that was how you spelled wet. Yeah. I never realized that was a different wet than the wet of that's wet. It's like sharpen your appetite. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, now yeah. I know. <laughs> um, oh, we have can we click on him? him. Yeah. yeah. Frankie was still behind the bar. If I was stuck on the case, a long drink might be helpful. Let's see. I looked at Frankie. What's eating you, kid? Oh, no, sorry. I looked at Frankie. What's eating you, kid? He asked. Okay. <laughs> Ask about notes? Uh, sure. I guess. We don't really have a goal right now, so I don't know what we can do. Yeah. Like, we can ask about any of the stuff in Southern Coffee. Uh, Miss Green's gray coat? Let's ask about it. Show Frankie. Let's see if he says anything. I pointed to something in my book, but Frankie's response was nothing memorable. Okay. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything else. We could probably ask about the bottles, because he'll know stuff about the bottles. Let's see. Bottle with bear. Yeah. Yep. Those bottles, uh, oh, no, oh no, yeah, yeah. These bottles behind the counter make the place come together, I told Frankie. He nodded agreement. Just a shame they don't make them like that after the prohibition. You could always become a glass blower, I offered. Frankie laughed. I like to save my breath for talking. 
something else on your mind? Anything I else? think they're probably all going to have something yeah. like that. Well, I mean, they weren't specific, so I feel like yeah. all these. It said the bottles. Uh, wine bottle, maybe? Uh, wine bottle? Uh, that wine we shared earlier, I stated. Ah, uh, Zinfandel. He mused. Best grape for me, local to California. You know. And no, you aren't having any more. Alright, fair. I thought about what else I'd like okay. to speak to him about. Alright. Never mind. I guess we can leave. I guess we can leave? Never mind, I said, and swiveled my seat away from the bar. Okay, interesting. Go down the stairs? Yeah, well, do you want to leave next time? Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, sweet. I, I am very interested in what direction this game could be going in. It's fascinating, yeah. and I just like how it's written and how it looks. Like, yeah. it's just very pleasing. All right, cool, then we'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Thank